Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how to create combination charts in Excel. Now I look back through my mail for the past year and I had seven letters from viewers, seven letters from clients who said, Danny, I can't seem to find the chart type which is a combination chart. I come over here in Excel 2007 on the insert tab of the ribbon and I can see that we have a chart type for column charts, line charts, pie charts, but where's the chart type for a combination chart? Well, the confusion is that a combination chart is actually a combination of two or more different chart types. Most commonly, a column chart for one series and a line chart for another. Let's come over here and take a look at the chart that I've begun. It's a standard clustered column chart. We are charting two series, the actual sales by month for the year, the projected sales for each month during the year. Now it's easy for me to see that month over month, if I'm looking at January, I can see that my actual sales did not measure up. They did not meet the budget for the month. On the other hand, in February, the actual sales exceeded the projection. Now it's easy to spot the comparison month by month, but where's the trend? This is a perfect example for a combination chart. So our first step is to select the chart series that we want to change the chart type for. And again, this is an arbitrary decision. I'm going to choose the series for the projected sales. And I'll come over here on the Insert tab of the ribbon, and I want to change the chart type from what I have it as a column chart in to a line chart select the subtype for the line and now it's easier for me to spot the trend. Is there a seasonality issue where the actual sales did not meet our projection? Much easier to spot when I use a combination chart. All right, now let's use another scenario and this time we'll create a combination chart from scratch. This time we're going to be plotting actual sales by month versus the profit percentage for each of the months. So we begin by selecting the labels and the data that we wish to chart. And let's begin on the insert tab of the ribbon with a standard column two-dimensional clustered column chart. Let's move this a little closer in, and if you've been following my lessons on Excel, you notice that my preference is to have the legend placed down at the bottom. So I'm going to right mouse click, format the legend, and place it down at the bottom of the chart. It gives me a lot more room for my chart data and doesn't interfere with my natural eye movement from left to right. Now over here you can see that there's such a wide gap. If we take a look at the numbers, I mean trying to compare 64 to 1, well there are two different comparisons that we're making. So our first step of course is to make a selection. and In this case we want to select the profit percentage. Now frequently when we're doing uh, combination charts and we want to plot uh, data values that have such a wide gap, sometimes it's even difficult to spot where that series is. One thing that I like in Excel 2007 2010 is that on chart tools layout when I come over here to the current selection it's always easy for me to confirm that I've selected the profit percentage if I'm having difficulty selecting it all I have to use is that drop down and make sure that I have the series selected then on the insert tab of the ribbon in the chart design I want to come over here and change the chart type for that series. I want to change that into a line chart with the correct subtype. Now it's better but it's still not perfect. Again come back we have that wide gap. It's easy for the viewer to get the wrong impression about the percentage. So we have over here our vertical axis. What we want to do in this case when there is a wide gap is we want to add in a secondary axis, in this case a secondary vertical axis. So we first again make the selection. So I want to select the profit percentage and I'll right mouse click choose Format Data Series and over here in the Series Options what I want to do is I want to make that a secondary axis. Now I'm going to just move this out of the way. Actually I'll close it down. So now you see that I have two axes. This is my secondary vertical or value axis for the profit percentage and over here for the actual sales I have my primary 
vertical axes. Now, we still want to add in another chart element. So we have our secondary vertical axis, but we need axis titles. So chart tools layout and then come over here and in the labels group what we want to do is we want to add in axis titles. I want to add in first an axis title for the secondary vertical axis. In this case I'm going to make it a vertical title. So you see I've added in that title and of course I'm going to make a selection and change the label. I'll make it profit percentage and now I want to come over and I want to add in a title for the primary. So once again what I want to do is I want to come over here and say axis titles and I want to put in a title for the primary vertical axis. I'll again make it a vertical title and I'll put in here actual sales and now it's a lot easier for my reader to see. Actually maybe I don't need the uh, sales in there. Let's get rid of that. Let's just leave it as actual. So I'll select that, click OK. There you go. So now I have a label for my primary vertical axis. I have a label for my secondary vertical axis. Now let's clean this up a little bit. Uh, first off let's get rid of the uh, vertical line uh, uh, values over here on the grid. And now you see these these markers. They're a little bit too large for me, a little bit too prominent. So I'm going to make the selection, right mouse click, format the data series. And what I want to do over here on the marker options, choose built in, and I want to change this into uh, a diamond. And I want to also bring down the size. I'll make that size be 5. And over here what I want to do is I want to change the shape design. So I've selected the actual sales and I'm going to come over here into format. I'll come down here and I want to change the uh, design of the shape. Now that I'm at it, let's come over here and let's select the uh, projected sales. And once again, I'm on Chart Tools Format. And this time what I want to do is I want to change this to be this intense effect. So now instead of having the line which implies that there's a continuum going through here, it's very easy for me to present the information that I want to plot. I want to show to my viewers that there is a correlation or a seasonality issue over here in how we projected our sales and what actually happened in the results. So there you've seen how to create, how to design combination charts. They're a combination of two or more different chart types. And that's one of the tips that I offer on my video, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. And I'll see you in the next lesson.